has initiated direct trading between the yuan and the won as part of a series of efforts to serve the country as a global gun hub. Our correspondent Yu Jin Zhang has this report from Seoul. On Monday, South Korea launched the Won Yuan trading market, which means transactions can be made between banks in the two currencies without going through the U.S. dollar. Che Kyung Hwan, South Korea's finance minister, said the country has established the basic infrastructure to boost yuan transactions. The yuan direct transaction market that opens today will serve as an important catalyst in boosting yuan trade in South Korea. It will improve trade convenience by eliminating one step in the transaction process and lowering transaction costs. In 1996, South Korea launched a similar currency market with the Japanese yen. But this resulted in a failure largely due to lack of demand. To keep history from repeating itself, today's central bank governor promised to actively respond to the imbalance between supply and demand in the market. We will actively work to ease the imbalance of supply and demand that is difficult for the market to solve on its own and we will supply yuan obtained through the Korea-China currency swap to stabilize the market if necessary. In November, the Bank of Korea selected 12 local and foreign banks as market makers to nurture the new currency market as it would need that extra support in the initial stage. Opening this currency market makes South Korea the third country outside of China to host direct trading of the yuan against its own currency after Russia and Japan. Bilateral trade between Seoul and Beijing last year reached around $230 billion, but only 1.2% of the transactions were denominated in the yuan. The South Korean government plans to raise that to 20% in the coming years. Eugene Zhang for CCTV Seoul. New data shows growth in Chinese factories stalled in November. The slowdown reinforces expectations that the government will roll out more stimulus measures after cutting interest rates in order to shore up growth. The Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index, which is an important criterion that measures China's factory activities, stood at 50.3 in November. That's 0.5 points lower than the number from last month. November was the second month the PMI dropped, but it still remains above 50, which indicates expansion in activities. Analysts believe that the drop in the PMI comes from slowing domestic demand and is also a result of the government's structural reforms in the economy.